Hey guys, welcome to Hulk Up Wrestling. We're going to try something new with this video here. This is an old WWF magazine that I had in storage and I have a few of these. So I thought, why not make a video and show you guys what was inside of this magazine back in 19, May of 1990. Uh, this is the cover. It has Brutus the Barber Beefcake on it. But we're just going to flip through the pages and show you guys what's involved. If you guys like this, make sure you comment down below. Let me know if I should make some more videos like this with the other magazines that I have. But right here, we'll show it um, what's inside. You know, they highlight some of the top stars from that day back in 1990. First page here, we got Rowdy Rowdy Piper, Just Say No to Drugs. Over here, we've got WrestleMania advertisement. Um, I guess this is where you would order for the pay-per-view like this. This is before the days of online where you could just stream it and buy it. But yeah, Coliseum video you would <laughs> send in to get your pay-per-view or and then maybe they would send you a VHS tape or something back. All right, here we got the big boss man around the ring. And I'll focus in on that. That way, if you guys want to read some of these articles, you can. You can just... Hit pause. Here was the old video game of WrestleMania. How I wrestled Macho Man and won. I remember playing this game as I was a kid. Had all your big time stars, Hogan, Macho, Million Dollar Man, Honky Tonk Man, and Andre the Giant. Over here, Fan Forum. And over here, you could join the official WWF Fan Club. For a cost of $9.95 plus shipping and handling. I did not join that, but I bet that was pretty cool back in the day. And you got Jesse Ventura, body language. And then an advertisement to subscribe to the WWF magazine. A lot of these magazines I bought when they were on the newsstands. I did get a subscription for one year for my birthday. Right here, you got the Heart Foundation. Throws down the gauntlet, Newsbreakers. And there's Andre teaming up. I don't remember that fella's name there. Axe and Smash of Demolition. And then <laughs> the advertisement for buying uh, eight CDs or 12 cassettes for one penny. I think a lot of us that grew up in the 90s probably fell victim to this. And we probably still owe them some money. Here's Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Who's still alive and does fan or like Comic Cons or fan fair festivals and signs autographs. Earthquake and Jimmy Hart. This is a, it looks like it's an exclusive interview with Earthquake. And then there's the, <clears throat> some consider the GOAT of wrestling, Hulk Hogan. Battle of the Titans, Earthquake faces the Hulkster's fury to help Dino even the score. So this is back when he fought Dino Bravo. Well, I bet that hurt whenever he landed on the Hulkster there. Those were some big dudes back in the day. And then there's the ultimate warrior by coming to his rescue. <laughs> we got the Brutus the Barber, who's on the cover. The Barber Clips On. This shows some of the people that he was probably feuding with at the time. Mr. Perfect, Ravishing Rick Rude, Rick the Model. Rick the Model Martell. Here's some glimpses of those two in action. <clears throat> Over here you got an advertisement for the WrestleMania with the Ultimate Warrior and the Hulkster. Considered one of the best WrestleManias of them all. WWF Trivia. Here's some good ones for you guys that are in a nostalgia era. Wonder how many of those questions that you guys would get right. Over here was the merchandise catalog. This was always 
a fun section uh, for fans because this is the way that you could buy <clears throat> some of the merch. Again, we didn't have the online realm where we could order shirts from the WWE shop. We had to order our t-shirts and merch through a catalog like this. And this is some of the stuff that they would sell. I did not buy any of this stuff though. Uh, my mom never got me that. I ended up getting like action figures and magazines, but never did get into the merch very much, but like cups and bags. There's the rockers. Hulk root rolls, teddy bear. <clears throat> Boy, they, they sold everything, even bibs. Capitalize on their superstars. And then here was the best part. These were all the t-shirts that they sold of the stars. So you got Roddy Roddy Piper, the Rockers. This is before the Heartbreak Kid became huge in wrestling. Red Rooster. I don't really even remember that guy that well. Jake the Snake Roberts, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, Ultimate Warrior, Brett the Hitman Hart. And then you've got Dusty Rhodes, you've got Tito Santana, Superfly Snooker, and the Bushwhackers. Some cool shirts there. <clears throat> Over here, you've got the Hulk Rules wall hanging. Ultimate Warrior Bruce to Bar Beefcake. And then over here is some of the posters that kids would put on their walls in their bedrooms to highlight their favorite stars. Or you could order a rocker's headband and try to look like your favorite stars. Look at that old hat there with Mean Gene. Some legendary stuff there. And this is the order form that you would fill out. A Hulk Hogan workout sweater. That looks like almost like an 80s style. And then here is some where you could order some past issues of the WWF magazines or Spotlight magazines. What's behind Mr. Fuji's deal? The powers of pain. Kind of like the alter egos to the demolition. They were in it for a little while. There they are fighting demolition. Fighting Coco Beware there. So anyway, here we have the Orient Express with Mr. Fuji. All right, here's a section on the Arrogant Apparel, Rick the Model Martel. Those, <coughs> those 1990s clothes and cars from back in that day. Almost like a Don Johnson, Miami Vice type of feel here. It's probably where he got inspired from. Real ladies, man, I would say. That's Rick the Model Martel. All right, check that out. The Hulk Hogan ice cream bar. Kind of resembles a little bit of the Mickey bar that kids would go crazy for. I don't remember ever getting one of those or seeing those in the stores, but evidently they'd be packaged like that. All right, here we got the Hitman. And one of the rockers, they would go on to have one of the best feuds in the WWE. Two huge stars. Shawn Michaels, a heartbreak kid. Mr. WrestleMania. Sure does look different back then. There they are, the rockers fighting Heart Foundation. Flassy Freddy Blassie. There he is talking to kids. People trying to get his autograph. Rugged Ronnie Garvin. Million Dollar Man. Hercules. Paul Roma. Some of these names might be familiar to you guys who grew up in the 90s and watched 
for WWF Wrestling. Here's Viewpoint with Jimmy, the mouth of the South Heart. He doesn't really look a whole lot different now. He keeps his hair dyed. And then Jake the Snake, Spotlight. So that's the one that came out after this one here. And they give you a WWF crossword puzzle. Here's some of the old Nintendo games that were for sale during that time. So those might look familiar to some of you guys. Caught in the act. Who is that? Is that um, Lonnie Popo or Lanny Popo or something like that? I think he just passed away just recently. Look at the old Mountain Dew cans. Slam down a Mountain Dew. And then this was on the back. Showing do our double dragon. So there you go. This is a, a look at the WW Magazine of 1990, May. If this video was cool, if you liked it, go ahead and throw a thumbs up on it. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make wrestle wrestling videos just about every day. I'd love to have you back in the next one. Take care.